Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I uh, took this transom mount trolling motor bracket off the back of my boat. So, this bracket was on the back of my boat, uh, and it mounted a uh, six horsepower 1965 Evinrude uh, outboard and it was right next to my 90 horsepower regular motor and the idea is that the guy who used to own the boat before me he did a lot of fishing so he had this on there and I guess whenever he was in creeks or whatever he would drop this down use it for trolling around while he was fishing. I don't fish. Uh, last year I took the six horsepower Evinrude off of there because it wasn't running fixed it up, got it running, did a video about that, and uh, sold it because I put it back on at the end of the summer and just to see, you know, would it get me back home or whatever, and I mean, I just don't need it. And I thought to myself also, it would be a really beneficial for me to save weight on the back of my boat between the, side, the weight of the motor and the weight of this bracket on there and then the extra fuel tank and all the other nonsense with that, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get rid of it all. So, sold the motor to a nice young guy, and uh, today I took this bracket off. I thought this thing weighed like 50 pounds, because it's super heavy, but I put it on my scale, and it only weighs 15 pounds. Today, we're gonna take this off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking off this strap right here, then we gotta unbolt it from the transom, and then after that, uh, I guess I got to fill in the holes. All right, so I'll put that there. Little stainless steel little U U bracket thing. Kind of neat. So brought my tool bucket. Can't ever start one of these projects without your bucket of tools. So, uh, I'm hoping this is all standard. So it looks like I got four bolts here, which are probably half inch. Haha, <laughs> yes they are. All right. I got bolt on the other end of that, but let's just see if the nut comes off. Nope. So, uh, luckily, Those geese were loud. Got a ratchet. I think it's a half inch on this end too, let's see. Yeah, all right, half inch and half inch, so. You know, I really like these ratcheting wrenches, but I also, what I don't like about the ratcheting wrenches is a lot of times, it seems like more than half the time you go to put them on, you have them on the wrong way. And then they're in the tighten instead of loosen position, so. So he put this on with the, uh, with the nuts that, um, let's see that, I just did it wrong right there. Um, the guy who put this on the boat, put it on with those nuts that are, uh, not locking nuts, uh, maybe they are. They have nylon inside of them. So, so they get nice and tight. They have that little ring on them. That's how you can tell that they're locking nuts. So, so that up there. Now here's what's weird. Let's see if I can give you a view down in here. So these are the two bolts. This is the one I just took out and the lower one. The other two are underneath that. So I might have to climb under to get them loose. That's not gonna be any fun. Not looking forward to doing that, because then I have to get up in the boat and lay down. I don't really feel like doing that today. And when we're done this, I have to figure out how to fill in these holes. Do I need to fiberglass them? Or do something else? I'm not sure. So what I gotta do is I gotta have a wrench out here, holding it tight, and I gotta loosen it from the inside. Yay. Hmm. 
Is this really worth it? Let's put Mr. Half Inch on there. <clears throat> Maybe I put that one on that, and then I put a vice grip on the other one. So that way I can turn both at the same time while I'm in there. Hopefully I can turn both while I'm in there. Let's get up in the boat. I don't know if this is capturing this or not. You can see, but there's a roll right there. This is the one with the vice grips on it. a wrench on here but it kept on falling off <sighs> Hold on. all right so if you could it's going to move back and forth but if you could keep that from falling off of there yep. so i was trying to figure out whether to leave these bolts in and put them all the way in there to seal it off mm -hmm. or should I seal it off sans the bolts yeah yeah see we can scrub this up clean it up and I just got to figure out how I'm going to fill in these holes on the transom so we stuck that one in there we don't have to worry about water getting in there because that goes straight into the bilge but I'm going to cover these up in some tape until we find out what our solution is going to be for for this long term. So what should we do? Should we fill that in with some fiberglass? Grind it and glass it? Boy, this is all beat up too, isn't it? That's not very good. Maybe we're fixing that too, huh? Uh, I don't know. So got that weight off the back of the boat. But now I got the four holes where this mounted to that I need to plug up that go through my transom. So, Got to look into exactly how I'm going to do that. Um, I know there's a lot of different options. One of them is uh, putting the bolts and nuts back through there, just sealing around those and sealing that off. That's the easiest, probably quickest way to do it. Uh, another way to do it would be to um, uh, grind them down, fiberglass them or resin or something, and then sand that smooth and paint it and fix that all up. I may do that. It might be kind of fun. And then I guess another one would just be to take some marine sealant and just glob it all in the holes or whatever, which seems kind of not the right way to do it. So, um, so right now I have the holes uh, taped off and I have a bolt going through the lowest one where the water that sits back by the engine kind of could run into there. And I don't want it running into the transom and getting it at any extra wet inside than it already probably gets. So, um, but anyway, that may be for that's maybe for another video. So that's all I'm going to do today. So got that off of there. I needed help from my daughter uh, because a couple of the bolts were underneath of the back of the boat. So I had to get on from inside by laying down and using a lot of choice words, which I'm really good at doing when I'm laying in an uncomfortable position with a ratchet over top of my head trying to blindly loosen a bolt. And she was on the outside here with a pair of vice grips holding the nut. Um, but anyway, so we got this off. I'll probably give this away. It's not, uh, it's not in beautiful condition, but it is usable, I guess. So I'll, uh, I'll see if somebody wants this and they can have it. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.